Sunday, August 30th, 848, and this is um, incomplete work done by RT Construction, Garrington Smith. I want to point this out. Well, first, we can look at the painting. The painting is not done nicely. This is really not a great paint job, and it's a recurring theme throughout the house. The paint job is not clean. I mean, it's like someone it's partial some some areas are sanded some aren't there's a lot of hits and misses and this is definitely a miss so this is one item this was originally one outlet i don't know why they this is one of those things where it really should be one outlet i'm going to get it redone there's no reason why it should have such a big cover plate the big cover plate was a result of the substandard work in electrical and whatever work that they tried to do here this was one of those, you know, I can understand if you're doing it yourself and you want to um, just put it, put in a cover plate, but because of the sloppiness of the work, they had to cover it up and use a larger cover plate. I'm going to get this fixed, repatched, and make it original to how it was before. The difference between this outlet and how it was in the past is that it was a regular outlet size and it had a regular typical switch. Um, this is unique and in all the rooms, this is the only room that has this type of outlet. Now moving on to the bathroom. The bathroom is not complete here. And again, it has to do with the paint job. The paint job, especially in certain areas and corners, it's like they weren't, they weren't sanded. Nothing was sanded. And there's some um, primer on this side right here. This, it's hard to tell, but there's primer. It's, you can, you can kind of tell it's this area right here. This needs to be painted semi-gloss, right? And it's just kind of like these patches. So, so also this light was supposed to be changed out for the suggestion of Gary was to change out these type of lights to something that's more plastic for safety reasons. So um, this needs, so based on his recommendation, I bought these type of lights. They're LED plastic lights. And so this needs to be installed. Moving on to the other room here. This room had a working electrical outlet and then it stopped working. This will be reviewed during the audit. The electrician hasn't come upstairs yet, but it's important. This is also another mystery. There was um, another switch here. And so we're gonna try and figure out what to do with this one. If we can make it one, then we're gonna patch it and just make it one switch. There's no reason to have this. Um, I will confirm with the electrician when he does his review. For the record, um, originally, um, Roy, the electrician hired by Gary to do s some of this work, said we had to have a plate that had the dummy switch. And that somehow changed. He said that was like a rule or code. And now that's that's changed. Now it's, I don't know, this is very different than having another switch. So I'm going to confirm that with the electrician. Um, because so far the work that I've seen and the work that's been done is not to code, um, leaving homes ungrounded, leaving outlets ungrounded and so forth, switches. It's, it's, a dangerous, it's a dangerous thing. And so again, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when someone's gonna get hurt and it's gonna be a tragic, tragic experience and no one should be susceptible to anything like that. So in this room here, we need some touch-up paint. There's unevenness in the paint here. It makes me wonder if they actually primed. You can see here there's shadows. The shadows around here, so this needs to be repainted. And this is all, you could see it because it's natural light. These shadows, these shadows are not as a result of, of um, you know, inconsistent lighting. It is consistent lighting. What? Let's turn this on. You still see it. See, you still see the inconsistent 
and consistent. I mean, the other way to go about this is to get a flashlight and to just put a flashlight against the wall and it'll be more, more obvious that I don't have a flashlight with me. So this needs to be redone, repainted. Areas like this, it's like, they, I don't think they primed. I just think they just went directly onto the walls. I don't think there was a primer used. Um, and that is almost it for the house. Um, these are the things that need to get redone. And oh, yeah, it's compound here. And this area right in here, it needs to be sanded and painted. It's a it's a little crevice in here, but it's it was part of the part of the work. So that is it for now. Um, but again, there are there, this is not complete. There needs to be more sanding done. There needs to be, especially the trim. I'm going to do a special walk through the trim because in my scope I said we would have all new trim, and um, it looks to me not not everything was was done so